Hey guys, I just came across a little problem I had here and I fixed it the other day. So if this video can help out anybody so they don't have to spend $70 on a remote or however much it is in your area, I'm glad I could help you. What you're going to need is a smaller screw to get the screws out of the back of the remote. You're going to need a knife or scissors. Scissors will probably help unless you have wire cutters. And you're going to need a USB cable that you don't use anymore, micro USB. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut this off right here. You're going to have a red, black, a green, and a gray wire. The green and the gray, cut those off. That's just data. That's nothing. That doesn't pertain to you charging your battery. So what I already did here is I had already done this because this is what I've been charging mine with. And it looks kind of crazy, but you'll also need one of these to plug it in. You're going to manually charge your battery. If I can show you here. Sorry, my camera's not the best. But once you... Uh, once you take the back off, you have one, two, three, four screws. Um, you might need a little tool to pop this out at first, like I did. But once you get it, and there's little pins in here, or there's, there's clamps, you're going to open it up like that. And it's going to be a bitch to do at first. But once you know where it is, this is what you're going to see right here. All right? And you don't need to take this wire off right here or anything. I had actually, because um, what happens with the micro USB is eventually it gets loose and, and, and it breaks. So I did eventually clamp the USB down a little bit and it plugged in and it charged for a little bit, but that didn't really work. And I'm not going to spend $70 on a remote. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this battery directly out, just unplug it like that. And you can keep that right there. And, you know, me actually doing audio video for a while, I knew that you could charge a battery like this. Now you're gonna have a red and you're gonna have a black wire right here. Black is negative, red is positive. You're gonna twist these up so they're kinda nice and small. Now there's two ways you can do it. The first way I tried was a little more difficult. You got your pins right there and you just technically stick them in there and you plug it into the wall. I found an easier way the other day. If you pull it that way, you'll see there's a little bit of space right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick that one in there. Do not let these touch when you do plug it in, though. Don't let the wires touch. And you're going to stick that one in there. Now, once you have them stuck in, you have to, you have, to have them stuck in before you plug it into the power. But make sure you plug it in. And for me, it only took about... Just try like 40 minutes. Make sure your battery doesn't feel hot or anything. But you do that, and then you just stick it right back in. After you're done, you pull them out. Unplug it first before you pull them out. Make sure, again, these don't touch each other. And when you pop it back in, you just put the plug in like this, like so. If I can get it in there. Let me get it in there. Boom. Plug it in. You're going to coil this around right here like so. And then you make sure these buttons go in between here. Oh, see my button popped off. That's going to happen every once in a while. Your button, your button might pop off and you'll have to put it back on there. I don't have enough memory to show you guys how to do that. But that shouldn't happen as long as you take I just kind of ripped it off. But you're going to plug it in like this. Boom. Snap them on, and you're good to go, and your battery's charged. Now, that's probably a good way to do it. That's what I've been doing. I wasn't going to go spend $60 on a new remote, but if I helped anybody out with that, let me know, and keep on gaming.